Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. And let's look in this tutorial a little bit more on the preferences. So we can a little bit more customize our applications and it will be more personal in the way you like to use. Okay, and if we go to edit menu, drop down, and before we actually use it a little bit shortcut editor, if you remember when we create our own shortcut, um, what we look right now, it's on a preference editor. So let's click to open this one. And first tab is our user interface. And here you can set up what language you like it. Right now we have it on English or French. Also background of the application and content menu, the grid color, settings for the grid, settings and color for the rulers and miscellaneous options. And most time, I, you can set by default, you can always play with them around and if you forgot and want to go back, you have to reset all preference to default that will give it to like an original state. Okay, also when you're done, click validate and it will remember your settings. Okay, 3D display, same when we can preset our colors, our point size, colors for the selections, and in this way it's kind of you can go and set up the sometimes colors you like it maybe more familiar made for you with the my application or a light wave or just make a brighter or higher contrast import export in many cases you probably want to use the default settings and they are actually done um, very smart but if you feel again you modify your application and you want to kind of synchronize um, have it like for example metric instead imperial imperial um, units or other things you can go right here and modify them as well and this is for every application that um, hexagon can export to okay UV view is in the future when we start creating UV map here is similar for size of the grid and other things um, in many cases on beginning you probably want a little bit customized maybe colors to give you higher contrast I do like the original presets, I'm kind of familiar with this, and I normally I don't do much changing here. Um, other things also, what you notice when you start working, you want to very fast switch between a type of the views. So, and to do this, if you go to the view, you will notice right here you can select from drop down, or also this is a number by the like number symbol in seven or number symbol in two this is a mean if you press seven two four all this on your numpad on your keyboard it will be um using those ones so you can switch very fast between a view by clicking um numbers on a numpad same as you can zoom in or zoom out or other ways you can do you can go right here with his name click on this it will bring drop down and you can go very fast from this point select what view you want to have it and that will be switching for you uh, very fast in this way the other ways you can do you can organize your um, desktop or your working place so by clicking four views six views and for example in four views as well you can make active which one view you want it and when you go back to single view it will accept it that view you selected before so example I go right here and I go back to perspective view. Okay. The next to this uh, layout, we have additional options, and we'll look on some of them after one. When I want to show you, it is a snap kind of mode. So let's go. Say we're going to um, right view with our grid. Okay. Let's maybe modify it. And you remember how you can drag around if you press down Alt button while you hold and right click on the mouse you can drag around and when you have it a left mouse you normally can rotate but in this mode right view left or front not perspective it won't work this will allow you only to drag or using zoom in zoom out but it won't allow you to rotate okay so when we went in this mode and let's create a cube you notice like usually we have once click and we can just drag and create a cube if we want it. Okay, with the snap mode is enabled, what's happening now you can see we have it like the segments. So now when you click 
you can see how it's not small but it's a locking itself to the each grid so and if you I also notice right here on the screen we don't have it a 0 0.5 0 0.3 we have it just normal numbers 16 17 18 or 20 whatever and this is when you will start creating some objects and you want consistency that is maybe a little bit easier to do in the beginning than just do um, without locking again this is for the personal preferences it depends which one you like the most okay let me go back right now to our perspective view okay, in a perspective view what I want to do I want to actually create several objects And one nice things when you start working with the object you want very fast to look you have it options here it will be number uh, num lock and zero or you just click on this and that will zoom out to bring all your object in one scenery you also can view on details by bringing click on this or press num lock, lock one you can kind of drag around and zoom very fast to just that specific areas um, let's do one thing let's go click on our forms and sometimes it's very form it's not very descriptive so what I want to do I want to rename it for example top right it's not very descriptive but in this case I want to leave it this way and you notice when I type in I switch and name is doesn't change so first time when I did this it was kind of confusing because I give it name and I go there and this is disappearing well it will take it at one point but if you press enter so be sure sometimes you may have a problem to give it names so be sure you um, press enter and that will accept that it's validate and it will give it names to this okay we have it cube we have it maybe arg another name let's give it different name um, XYZ test cube and leave it 33 so sometimes if you have a very 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 long list of those um, objects it's very hard for you to select you can go to just select search here and type click select and it will select this object for you this is very helpful when you build complex uh, model so be sure you kind of name it them if it's complex it will help you if you build a big car and you want select just inside light or something you can name it inside light type it select and it will select this object this is another nice way to um, organizing and selecting the object inside your scenery and um, while we look speaking about customization let me show you other things on the bars right here and we're a little bit cut off because our screen is a bit smaller but you have another type it's called custom type and um, you can create your own tools list of the tools they're using mostly for example I'm using quite a bit on this one the cube so I right click on this and it's come the question says you want added so I want to add yes next I'll go in a vertex and for example I like to use sweep surface right click and says yes on this one okay also um, maybe I want to go and like circles right okay oops I'm selecting yes add this one okay and you can go through all of those utilities so you can select as you like it and what's happening now when we're in a custom select this one you have those tools that we selected before so it's kind of very nice because we can add all additional um, option all what you like to use your kind of tools and you can create on your custom bar in the uh, Maya it's kind of like custom shelves it's what people use to this so right here you have your custom bar that's another way to customize for you Okay, so part of the other also customization it is that you can readjust layout 
and not just by using those normal windows you will notice by icons you have this kind of dot if you click on this it's a dockable so you can actually remove it and move around and place it where you want it you can again move it back and you will notice you have it like blue line and it will dock back in this section you also can minimize it or if you press on an X you also can remove it and if you want to restore it you can go to back windows and just restore it from this point just selecting deselecting so again you can practice this you can drag around put it where you want it you can actually also even drag away from um, this menu and for example when I work and I want to have it more workspace I actually have a dual screen and I'll take it one those menus and I put them on another screen so it's kind of easy for me to organize and I have at least of the object open all the way that will help you okay other things also to remember you can maximize your screen by clicking on the this kind of arrow icons so what it does it will you can notice it's kind of shrink them any times when you click again it's already open it's almost like your slide out slide in menus again it this is all how you if you want to customize more your workspace this is will help you to be more productive to access properties of the object you modifying or creating or doing some other work easiest and faster way and I spend a little bit time right now just go around and maybe change colors adjust a grid modify all your settings if you want it and again anytime when you think you want to go back you can go right here reset all preference to default and you're back to normal so you don't need worried if you do something um, creating not right okay Okay, and thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.